Hey guys, you're watching BTEC, I'm Basil and I am in a jungle with the new Huawei Mate 10 Pro. The Huawei Mate 10 Pro announced in Munich alongside the Mate 10 is the 18 by 9 inch variant of the new Mate series, full HD or better than full HD, wide full HD, OLED display, 18 by 9 aspect ratio. You've got really, really slim bezels around the body, Huawei insignia below the display, USB-C at the base and no headphone jack, but this does have IP67 water and dust resistance. Still retains those stereo speakers, so one of the only stereo speaker devices that is packing that 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Right hand side you've got all your buttons, up at the top you have what looks like an infrared blaster, so it's excellent for any remote control fans out there. Left hand side you've just got the slot. Now this is available with 128 gigabytes of storage, does not have micro SD card expandability, so bear that in mind. 128 gig should be plenty for everyone though, and of course internal storage storage will run that bit faster. Around the back is the pierce resistance in a couple of respects. It has a glass back for starters which is a first for Mate series devices and you've got a dual camera setup. Same megapixels and optical image stabilization configurations we've seen before. That's the 20 megapixel and a 12 megapixel sensor OIS on the 12 megapixel RGB sensor. But you now have f1.6 lenses across both which is really cool. You've got a stylized strip around the back fingerprint scanner. This is the more expensive of the two devices and that's largely owing to the OLED display. It may not be as sharp but you're not going to really complain too much. Full HD seems to do a great job getting right up close. You can't really see too many pixels break up and of course that extra punch, that extra pop is going to be really really welcome. What's also cool is you can see you've got a pre-installed screen protector as well for that little bit of extra protection. Talking you around the UI, it's a Motion UI 8 on top of Android 8. Now Motion UI skipped a few numbers in order to align itself with Android. It's got improved machine learning, it's apparently 89% as fast as it was when you first opened the box 18 months into using this phone. So it shouldn't slow down as much as most other manufacturers. It's also combining that AI with a Kirin 970 under the hood, which is a brand new chipset. Should have like the most powerful GPU around and just should be excellent. So can't wait to test that out, all of the benchmarks. Um, if there's anything in particular you want us to test with the 970, please fire that in the comments section below. Um, as for the rest of the MUI features, what's cool is that you can have a floating window to get rid of your navigation bar or a floating dock. So you can gesture, swipe up, down, left, right, wherever the dot appears on screen and you can use your full screen rather than have navigation keys take up elements at the bottom. There's also another feature that allows a pop-up to appear when you get a notification and if you tap it then um, it will open that notification in a split screen view. So you will have half of your screen looking like it's showcasing the app that was a notification and the other half showcasing the app you're working in. So you needn't leave the video you're watching or the document you're editing. Emotion UI is bound tightly with that Kirin 970 um, and the RAM configurations are going to be 6 gigabytes on the Pro variant. If you wanted to get the regular Mate 9, take advantage of the 970 with less outlay, it will be 4 gig and 64 gig of storage. The regular one will be expandable but the regular one will also not have IP67 water or dust resistance. Both however will have a 4000 milliamp battery under the hood and support CAT 18 LTE up to 1.2 gigahertz. If your network carrier supports it, that is the fastest around. One thing I haven't talked about is the camera UI and Huawei is making a pretty big deal about this. If I pop open the camera, you can see it's figured out that there are some leaves here. If I put my hand in the way, it's taken the leaves away and that leaf that I'm talking about is right there. Now this is similar to scene detection that we've seen on compact cameras in the past but what's cool about it is that Huawei claims it to be way more intelligent. You've also got the pro mode that we've seen before um, as well as all of the additional shooting modes Huawei integrates. The camera UI has always been excellent on Huawei devices in terms of giving you a lot of control over your pictures so fingers crossed this time around it is just better. You can quickly take a quick snap, double tap through and zoom in and you can see that picture looks pretty nice and sharp. You can now jump out of that and flip into the monochrome to just get an idea of what that looks like without image stabilization. Bearing in mind monochrome performs better with regards to clarity and you have more megapixels 
and everything seems to look pretty sweet. So that has been a early hands-on with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. At launch, if you've got any questions about it, fire them in the comments section below. Like the video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching BTEC.